For queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. I'm in the new little spot real fast, but we still going to get the message out, okay? Beautiful queens and handsome kings. Let's play Clue and Wanted, okay? Um, Y'all individuals will be out tomorrow before queens and handsome kings. This is all sign read. Don't be coming over here trying to put your foot in the shoe that does not. Fit. Don't try to put your foot in the shoe that don't fit, okay? We got hell. We got hell. It says hell is the Norse god of the underworld, the mother goddess of the underworld. Gosh. She rules over a fairy womb of regeneration and especially responsible for who dies of diseases or old age. Her underworld, unlike the Christian hell, which received this name from her, interesting, is simply an under, uh, is simply an other world, a place of referral, rather than a place of punishment and misery. Oh, okay, you know, Catholics, okay. When Northern shamans visit her realm, they are put into the Hiklep, a magical mask, sometimes a helmet, that renders them invisible. It is possible that the mask, a step, <coughs> <coughs> somebody don't want me to talk about it. A standard character of Comedia was originally one of the kindred of the goddess Hell. Hell is an embodiment of the divine mystery and challenge to look behind the mass of appearance to see things as they are. Very interesting. Study, study, study. Y'all know I got to go read about her now. Oh, all right. Yeah. You know what? New moon. Write them intentions, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Get them spiritual baths or spiritual um showers. If y'all need help, you know I did um whatever comes out a few months ago. Go look at that one. Okay, adjustments are required, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. So there's some adjustments required in a situation. Some of y'all adjustments required is y'all still need to do your damn shadow work. Go do it. Go do it. Blessing for a blessing. So some, some people are still so caught up in the pain, which I'm not knocking you. I understand that you still need to go heal, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Hold on. You are good enough. So know you are good enough, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Yeah. A fiery climax is approaching. So, even though hell uh, is not really for Lucifer, it came from the goddess of hell. <laughs> Y'all got some demons. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of y'all situations might have an Aries and a Virgo uh, involved. I don't know. Y'all know I'll never say signs unless they tell me. Nothing is yet set in stone. So whoever is trying to be a bitter bitch or a bitter bum that thinks shit set in stone, it says nothing set in stone for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The answers you need are coming, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Yeah. Look, conclusions are at reach. So, the ones, the answers y'all need are coming, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Adjustments are required. If you've already did your um, shadow work um, or doing your shadow work, you still need to adjust something in your life purpose. Don't be scared to go after your life purpose. Get that shit together, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Let's, they said start with a quality card. Let's get y'all I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Yes, look. What inspires me and you? Your your courageous laugh. You're cheerful. Hey. So what inspires you, my beautiful queens? And look at the bottom. It says your self, your self assurance, self assured. So you are self assured about yourself. You are self assured to know that you can heal. 
you self-assured that, you know what, you're breaking generational curses, you're going after your spiritual or your uh, religious beliefs, you're going after your life purpose, you're getting that promotion at them jobs, you're starting your own business, you're starting those hobbies. Let's get an animal card. They usually... Woof! All right, all right. So we, you definitely got some people, wolves and sheep clothes around you. But it's saying you are generally touched by the others. You are generally touched by what others are going through. Going through. You're generally touched by what others are going through. So what that's saying is, New Moon, guys, people are trying to, that sadness, that anger, um, drinking, drugs, whatever it may be. Know that when it's saying you're generally touched by what others are going through, there are some people, whether it's lover, family, friends, or business, that are throwing their emotions on you. Some of y'all are just empaths so you can pick it up. Some you need to know that it's just bitter bitches and bitter mums. Throwing their emotions on you. Now, <laughs> they need to, they, and maybe that's something, okay? My guys just said, that's the adjustments that are required. You need to know that all those sad and negative emotions are not your emotions. It's the bitter bitches and bitter bums sending that shit. Look, warning, no stupid people beyond this point. <laughs> they need to know warning. Warning, your beloved ancestors, your guys, your angels, raw, has said, no stupid people are beyond the point. They cannot get in your aura no more. They cannot. It, them sending the monitor and the familiar spirits, we praying as royal queens and handsome kings for them to be permanently blind, not just for ourselves, but all divine people. We are a new world order. We are here to change some shit. To change some shit. Yeah. Fiery climax is approaching. Yeah, they pissed. They pissed. Because guess what? My beautiful queens and handsome kings. You're courageous. You're cheerful. And they trying to send their negativity on you because you are healing. Whether you're at the beginning of your healing or you've already did your healing and you're stepping into your life purpose. We are different. You know, you need some people watch my channel today. Some been watching it. Guess what? I'm always going to say a lesson for a blessing. I'm always going to say continue to heal. And I'm always going to say do your shadow work. That's our job to uplift to love each other, to touch each other and help each other through this. When it, there was lovers, family, friends, and business people that was making us feel like we had no one, no one. No, we got each other. We got each other. Yeah. Some of y'all got shaman ass abilities. Yes. Now, the total means, my beautiful queens and handsome kings, understanding the depth of passion that belongs to this noble creature. It represents deep faith. Hey. Profound understanding. Highly intelligence. Observing, using strategies about hunting, habit, and migration. Some of y'all are not earth signs, but y'all need to go look at that. Co the wolf reading I did on the earth sign. There is a covenant of wolves that's been attacking you, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Yes, it's not just your family or friends. It's some of these people been sending these people to you. Werewolves. Pay attention to your dreams. Think about your past connections of certain animals. Journal those animals. Okay? All right. Know that wolves are non aggressive. They're like dogs. They're like puppies. They're friendly. They have the ability to sense strong emotions. They also strong emotionally attach among the traits and generalize. So, there's what? A lot of us, that's why we had to do our shadow work because a lot of lover, family, friends, and was used to being able to love bomb us, trauma bond us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, some, some go, there's going to be evidence about something with a gun. See what's going on. Let's take clue first. Let's see what's going on with a clue.
All right, there's evidence against Mr. Green. Mr. Green, the con artist. There's some evidence against the con artist. All right. There is some ev some evidence against Mr. Green. All right, do y'all hear that beep, beep, beep? Oh, that's the birds. The birds said, damn right, there's evidence. <laughs> yeah, I usually can. Okay, we know Mr. Green, there's evidence. He's a suave con man who schemes. Might come to an end if his true identity is revealed. Well, guess what? His true identity is revealed. The con artist. Now, Mr. Green, we don't get caught up in the name. It could be his name, Green. Eyes Green. He drive a green car, live in a green house. Live on Green Street. Baby color green. Or it could be just green with envy. Because they're a con artist. And thought they was going to steal your shit. But there's some evidence on Mr. Mr. Green. Mr. Green. I'm sorry, Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean said, no, I didn't just move his song like that. So there's some evidence on Mr. DeCon's swab. Anything else? Okay. There's some evidence of Mr. Green stabbing you in the back or trying to literally slap, stab you. Everybody's story is different. This is a general... Y'all, they want y'all to know about Mr. Green. There's some evidence of Mr. Green stabbing someone in the back or literally stabbing somebody. There's some evidence on Mr. Green, the con artist, that, that <clears throat> it says scheming might come to an end if true identity is revealed. Well, his scheming, that embezzled, some, some Mr. Green was stabbing somebody in the back, um, embezzlement out here. Some, the bank, no. I don't even know if I'm supposed to pick those. Let me get one more, because Mr. Green came out twice. Let's see if they're going to tell us anything about who Mr. Y'all. They gave Mr. Green enough rope to hang himself. Didn't I say, look, it showed us that gun. They wanted us to know. Now, I don't know if Mr. Green then did something in the past, or he got an illegal gun. Maybe Mr. Green's a felon. They ain't supposed to be uh, messing with a gun. Maybe Mr. Green stole some gun. I don't know. But maybe if Mr. Green was involved in shooting, maybe he wasn't involved in shooting. It's something. But whatever Mr. Green did to stab somebody in the back, they gave him enough rope to hang himself. And bang, bang, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? The gun could also be the police officer coming to get his ass. <laughs> coming to get his scheming ass. Oh, oh, what they call them, drifters? The no drifter is caught. There, there, there was enough rope to, hey, maybe Mr. Green hung, uh, tied somebody up by gunpoint and stole their they information. We don't know. It is so many different stories. All we know is Mr. Green definitely stabbed somebody in the back. Or stab somebody. And there's evidence against Mr. Green. There, 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 there's enough rope. Now, I don't know if he, he tied somebody up. I don't know if Mr. Green pulled a gun on somebody. There, there's so many people that watch this. So everybody's story's different. But we talk about, we talking about Mr. Green. And that's a bit of bitch or a bit of bum. Now, we don't even get caught up in the gender. Because it could be Mrs. Green. But being that we're talking about this scheming ass con artist that's trying to put their foot and your shoe, don't you be it too. Just take what part of yours, what not. Okay? It could be minty things. Minty things. Let's let's get some wanted cards. Let's see. See what's going on with the wanted cards with Mr. Mr. I don't know why this song's in my head. Mr. Green, Mr. Green. Whatever Mr. Green took from that bank, he being judged for it. That's the judge behind that bank. And it said, Mr. Green, <laughs> I said some embezzlement. <laughs> he will be in front of a judge for this scheme. There's some evidence about Mr. Green or Mrs. Green. <laughs> green or somebody just green with envy. Look at that green bottle. 
That was it. Taking your money, whether it was through inheritance, whether it was a will, whether it was stealing out of your bank, wherever it is, there is some evidence and the judge is behind the bank. His scheming, her scheming is over. There's evidence of Mr. Green scheme. I know they said, hey, you was courageous, baby. Your life, you kept on laughing. Look at the bottom. Bank. Remember in the last reading, the the bank, the uh, the bank person was doing the audit. The president, some was some numbers or something wasn't right. Let's get another wanted card. They said two, so we're gonna take two more wanted cards. These be. Did Mr. Green know somebody at the bank? Cause that's the teller. Hands up. Did Mr. Green know somebody at the bank that was willing to help change? Did the bank, did this, you know, everybody's story. They said, don't do both stories the same because everybody that gets somebody caught up. Okay, so there's a banker, he or she, that helped Mr. Green or maybe Mr. Green, the one at the bank because this motherfucker got on Green. Hmm. Mr. Green either know somebody at the bank that helped scheme this money or put it in an offshore account. I hear that. Or Mr. Green is the bank teller. And the police said, freeze! The police coming to get him. <laughs> they said, take that one. Police is coming to get Mr. Green and whoever else helped. Wow. Wow. Woo. Somebody going to hell for real. <laughs> but they ain't going with the goddess hell. Oh, remember, she made you invisible. Her underworld different than the hell they going to. Sorry, guys, I had to go take my food out. Also, they said <laughs> Mr. Green could be the one coming out that bank. <laughs> and the police going to be like, praise. <laughs> fiery combat. Remember, she was over the fiery um, womb. Of, what did it say? Fiery room. Of regeneration, so y'all are regenerating to y'all who you came here to be, beautiful queens and handsome kings, to take back your throne from the bitter bitches and the bitter bums. You're doing your work, you're going after your life purpose, wherever it may be, and that's okay, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. It's saying, um, also responsible are those who die of disease or old age. This person might get a disease. <laughs> Or got a disease, but you're healing to live of old age, okay? Let's get us a couple of these cards and see about what they want to tell us about Mr. Green or this banker or even maybe the police. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we got the hoe. Somebody done dug themselves a hoe. Or somebody, or Mr. Green a hoe and got that disease. That fiery climax. <laughs> you know what, I'm sorry. I should be, yeah, I'm laughing. I be laughing at the car. <laughs> All right, let's see what 22 is. It says, destructive change, being flexible, change. Uh, Mr. Green dug himself a motherfucking hoe. He was being dis disruptive. He wasn't being flexible. But change is coming. There's change coming. Yeah, the hoe. An agent of change. A police agent is bringing you change for... Because <laughs> they got evidence on Mr. Green. Because he didn't dug himself... A ho! People be thinking you can't. You can't. I I love my gifts and I'm grateful and thankful for them. Woo hoo hoo! Two came out. No dog leash. Woo! They finna put Mr. Green on the leash. Oh Lord. Distraction, distraction below average. They, Mr. Do, do, do I see a canine dog? 
Dog on the leash. Is the canine union coming to get this motherfucker? Them, this motherfucker better not try to go on the run and they have to sniff him out. <laughs> A self-disruptive person. This person. A fresh barrel. What do, what's in the barrel? Rabbits and foxes. Sly, cunning, slick. Rabbits are fertility and what? Treacherous. So this could be baby mama, baby daddy, your mama, your daddy. This could be lovers, family, friends, or business. But one thing for sure is this shit gets juicy talking about their asses, don't it? Mm. Hard work, hard work, satisfaction. No, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Your hard work, your hard work is bringing you satisfaction. Own that shit. Be proud of yourself, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Whether you, you decided today to step in your life purpose and do your shadow work, or you've already did it and do a healing lesson for a blessing. You hear me? Lesson for a blessing. A hard-working person. Know that your hard work is paying off. Know that you are good enough. <laughs> when you didn't think answers was coming, <laughs> they coming. Know that <laughs> they said the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, shit. Adjustments is required for this scheming-ass con artist that's been stabbing you in the back. They, nothing was set in stone. They thought it was set in stone, but the only stone out here is set is a tombstone. You know what? Sometimes my guys just make shit come out of my mouth, and I'd be like, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Where? Let's be a little else nosy. Ooh, wee! That third party Mr. Green teamed up with, whether it was lover, family, friends, or business, or just them demons and entities of thinking he can get away with that scheming and being a con artist, uh, baby, he finna be bored and discontent. Bored and discontent, baby. He gonna be, yeah, they making plans and decisions to go get his ass. Like, you was in home, stuck, couldn't go nowhere, bored, they're being monitored. Guess what? That's, that's what them um, prison guards gonna be doing. Ooh, that's a prison guard. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. The truth's coming out about whatever money was stolen from you. Again, whether it was your credit card, your bank account, a will, a, a trust fund, an inheritance, whatever paperwork, whatever, yeah, baby. That third party Mr. Green was in, making plans and decisions, causing obstacles and delays in your life. Now they're teaming up to make sure that, that you can have rapid growth because you can look over the horizon. But hard work, hard work. Your hard work, your hard work. Doing your shadow work. Healing yourself. Your hard work, your hard work. Growing your religion, your spirituality, your, your, your life purpose. Whether, again, whether it was the promotion at the job, starting your own business, uh, whether it was dancing, art, whatever it meant, music, whatever it is, your hard work, your hard work is brought satisfaction to raw, to God. God loves you and said, it was never about this motherfucking winning. Because they was envious and jealous of you. It was about you. Healing to step into your life purpose. <sighs> then that motherfucker gonna be in this. All the anxiety that motherfucker sent you, they finna be in despair. <laughs> yes, baby. They finna be mad. They already mad that the motherfucker green with envy that you still a beautiful queen, a handsome king. You're still a good mother. You're still a good father. If you ain't got no kids, you're still a good-ass person. You're beautiful inside out. You're handsome inside out. And even the queen, of, and we know queen of pentacles ain't born. You have to work hard. Go through that shit. You got to go through that queen of cups. Can't nobody take your kindness for weakness to that motherfucking queen of swords. 
off with they motherfucking head and continue to work right to that queen of wands. Beautiful, handsome, inside out. You can manifest anything. You manifest them, them pinnacles. You're going to get back the pinnacles that was taken from you or God going to put you in a position in your life purpose that you're going to get triple double. And that motherfucker, whoever, he or she, lover, family, friend, or business, is going to watch that shit. Some of y'all going to get both. <laughs> Some of y'all going to get some of that, that money back. And they're going to, eh, baby, they wanted you to know. They wanted you to know. That you're a beautiful queen. You're a handsome king. And by you doing the steps of cups, swords, wands, to these pinnacles, and remember who you are, that you are an empress, that you are an emperor. Go on, Nyla and Simba. Go get y'all shit. Yeah. Having passion to go on your journey. Communication's coming in. And that motherfucker, whoever was the con artist, the schemer, better start panicking. Because <laughs> the game, look, I didn't even know I left this in. But their game is over. Over. Damn, this is juicy. But your, it's because of your strength, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Your strength, tame the beast. And finna put, shut that motherfucker's mouth up. Ooh, we man. that motherfucker being finna be in despair. Cause see, that motherfucker thought they was gonna he, she, or they third party. Cause it's definitely a third party in this motherfucker. All them threes. This motherfucker's finna be in despair. Look at this three people in there. They gonna be crying. That third party gonna be crying. Cause see, they thought they had your demise. No, 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 no. Guess what? They did backstab you. We, we we seen that at the motherfucking beginning. You know? <laughs> they did backstab you several times. For several weeks, several months, several days, or several years. Everybody motherfucking story is different. But we talking about the bitches and the bums trying to put their foot in your shoe. And you had to let them know, hell no, it was never about putting their foot in your shoe. But it was about you stepping in your life purposes, remembering who you are to go get your shit back. Look. And this ten of swords is a father. The, the, tr cut off his daughter's fingers so she would drown. So some of these is your fucking father or baby father, grandpa, uncle, brother, baby. Uh, or they working with them people. They, they finna be in despair. Because even though they backstab you, they are not allowed to defeat you. What's the, they thought they was going to cut off your wings. No, you learned to what? Forgive yourself, forgive them, and never forget. That's why when they tried to come back, you did not allow that lover to love bomb you again, that friend to love bomb you again, them family members to trauma bomb, love bomb you again. You said, give me 50 fucking feet. Yeah, because I know you just plan making plans and decisions with your two-faced ass to try to what? Bring more obstacles and delays in my life. No, nah, they was trying to, uh, yeah, no. Nah. You're not, no, 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 no. You wouldn't let nobody put you in a situation from climbing to the top. Your castle has always been safe. It's back there in the hills. Same motherfucker thought they was going to leave you out in the cold. They finna be out in the cold. How they going to steal your shit? Hmm. But this motherfucker was a vulture. Told you. Vultures. Vultures. This motherfucker was sending monitor spirits, familiar spirits. They were spying on you, hacking in your emails, your phone, recordings in your car, tracking you. Guess what? You always had intuition about it. You always had intuition this motherfucker thought they was going to get warm milk and cookies, as Bernie Mac said. And you said, no, I'm going to, God, I'm going to allow Raw to take all my tears and cleanse me. And I'm going to use my cup of intuition of who the fuck you really are. See, this person thought, oh, beautiful queen, handsome king, ain't got no evidence. I'm going to make them look like the bad person. No, <laughs> you, you let God bring out the real evidence. But, but you followed your intuition. <laughs> and that's why you're not crying over spill milk. No, you're not. No, you're not. And you got victory and reward over this bitter bitch or bitter bum. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. I want to go eat my food. It smells so amazing. I will have y'all individuals out tomorrow. Love you guys.